everybody, this is Lynn's Kins, and here we are today with a new speed build. Well, it's not really new, it's just part two. And um, today we're putting stores in the mall, so uh, I'm pretty excited about that. Um, <clears throat> we're working on this little boutique, or boutique, right now, and doing the exterior of the store in the interior of the mall. Um, and then the last part, we were trying to figure out the orientation of the mall and where everything was going to be placed. Um, so today is a little bit more fun and a little bit more interesting to look at, so <laughs> I hope this is a little bit better. Um, <clears throat> right now I'm just trying to figure out where to put the steps and I think I try to figure out the lighting. Um, also... My game keeps lagging, and I'm not really sure why, but every time I record, my game slows down. I don't know if it's the size of the build, or if it is just, um, the game itself, but if you guys know kind of what's going on, if you guys have had any of these issues before, just let me down in the comments below and your solutions to some of these issues. So, yeah. Um, but anyway, I am looking for the wallpaper, and I really love this one. I, f I feel like it is, like, just the perfect one for this type of store. And, um, what I did was I made the bottom part, um, the feminine clothes, and the top floor, the masculine clothes. Um, so it's pretty fun. And I think I'm gonna have to actually go back and remove some of the mannequins, um, because it said I had too many. So, yeah. Uh, I don't know how you can have too many mannequins in a mall, but, uh, this doesn't know that it's a mall, so <laughs> there you go. Okay, so. Still working on the exterior, kind of just go back and forth from the interior and exterior. Um, I like that little window display, although I really didn't use it to its full potential. I'll probably go back and work on that a little bit. Um, it's, it's really cute. Here we are putting in the move objects sheet in. Um, so I can put those things on the outside. And we're getting ready to start really making the inside look like a clothing store. Um, it's really cute. I would totally shop there. Um, <coughs> Although, I kind of wish, um, like, they had more, um, you know how you go to a store and they always have stuff at the checkout, like, to buy the last minute, like, impulse shopping section? I wish they had more, like, clutter objects that you could put out, kind of like the folded clothes and the perfumes. I just don't think that there are enough of those. That's just my personal thoughts on that, um... I just kind of struggle to find nice objects to display like that, so, yeah. Um, here we are putting in some nice lighting, um, in the cash register. And I really wanted to put, like, separate floor, but I ended up going with the marble instead, just all marble. It looks kind of sleek and nice, so that's kind of where I go with that. Um... And just putting some nice flowers. I kind of feel like this store would be a local store. Like, I don't know that it would be a chain. I, I really don't know. Um, mm. But regardless, I, I just think it's a really cute little boutique. Um, and I'm changing the, the color of that. And I think I end up switching those. Like, color-wise, I don't know. And I kind of wanted to go with, like, a botanical theme, so I was going to put plants on the wall, but then I was like, nah, that doesn't really make sense. But putting in the mannequins, um, then I use a little cubby area for the dressing rooms. So they're just closets. They don't really look like dressing rooms, but um, I thought maybe that way... In your game, if you do, like, a Let's Play or something, you could have your Sims go in and, like, change clothes, like, 
can simulate that they're actually trying on clothes at the store. So that's kind of what I did there. And I'm putting those objects on there. Um, I really did get kind of frustrated because I felt like, oh, they're just the same thing over and over again. Um, shoes, another thing. I kind of really wish we had more shoe racks. So that way we could display those. Um, we only have like the two, so I don't know. Uh, but I kind of really like it in the end. I think it worked out. And just putting some tulips on that table um, to make it look like a nice display. And some lighting. I love those lamps from um, Movie Stuff Pack. Those are like my favorite, and I like the different colors, but I thought the pink was more appropriate for this build. Um, and putting those hanging clothes, kind of like, you know, how people have to kind of reach up and get the stuff. That's what I was going for there. And end up putting like a poster above it to make it look like, oh, well, we have the sale going on. <laughs> but you guys kind of understand. There we go. Um, and I really wanted there to be some gold accents, um, just like in the tables and, uh, like the posters and stuff, at least in the downstairs. It gets pretty colorful in a little bit, like it's pretty white right now, but like we put accents of colors, just like pops here and there, and it's really cute. And I was really struggling to figure out what closet to put in, um, <laughs> But that's the, it kind of worked out perfectly for that little spot. It's like a little cubby. So that was kind of nice. I love these sconces, like the wall sconces for from a dine out. They worked really well. Uh, and they kind of just tie everything together. I'm putting in a rug. Sorry guys, had to take a sip of water. Um, still pretty hoarse today, but a lot better than I was last week. Oh my goodness, I'm so thankful I'm not dealing with that cold anymore. Usually it takes me longer to kind of like get my voice back and everything, and I, I think that's because of my asthma. Um, I just get, I get hoarse a lot easier than most people. It just takes me a while to get back to good voice quality, but... I've really been enjoying this build and I just wanted to put this out as soon as I could for you guys and putting on a mirror um, so if they wanted to they could well they can't really but you could pretend like they're trying on hats and that and jackets and that sort of thing um, and I didn't put that mirror all the way up because I just kind of liked it at that length like I felt like that was the perfect length for a mirror and I thought about putting that ballerina, but I was like, eh, it's too much. Too much going on. I kind of want to keep it consistent with the style. It just didn't really go with the build. Or the mall. Not the mall. Gosh. Uh, the uh, store. There we go. And just trying to figure out what objects to put in. Um, I ended up putting a chair there from the movie stuff pack it was went really well and another gold poster because we need more gold um it just looks nice there um and another display table let's see what do I, oh yeah i put like you know makeup testers and stuff like that so i use one of the spa day things and then the perfume from the base game and the tissues are there, so if they, like, need to, they can wipe stuff off. Not that that would do the job, but, you know, we're just pretending. And a little coat rack, which I don't think I keep. I can't remember. I really can't. Um, I may end up keeping that. I can't. I really cannot remember. Um, but I really love, love, love those chairs. I really wish I had one in real life. I don't know why I put that stool there either. Eh, oh well. And a rug. So, you know, people shopping with them, if they're really not into this kind of clothing or whatever, they can sit down and just kind of people watch. I put one on the other side, too. So, you know, if your friends try on clothes and you're like, oh, let's just move on, then you can sit and wait. Um, 
I mean, I guess they could go to another store or the food court or something and get a pretzel. That's always an option. Let's see, what else do I put here? Okay, I think this may be it. No, I put stuff in the middle. That's right. For impulse shopping. And then we move upstairs in a little bit. Let's see, what did I put on these tables? I can't even remember. But I really like those, and I really want to use those in, like, my houses. Those, those tables are gorgeous. I love the, like, the gold legs and everything, so... That's right, we put nail polish on it. <laughs> oh. Like little girly display things. So. Not that, you know, flowers are girly or masculine or feminine. I just, you know, trying to go with the aesthetic of the build. Yeah, I switch this around. I mean, it doesn't matter. You could go either way, but I thought it was more balanced that way. And the mannequins were also blue, so... Um, that's kind of why I did that. I think it's at this point I actually move upstairs. Uh, yeah, just checking, and we're upstairs now. And here I kind of wanted it to feel like the rest of the store, like the floor and the wallpaper, but I wanted it to feel like the masculine section of the store, too. So we go with a little bit of a different color palette, a little bit more neutral, we put boat sculptures on the wall, and I don't know, it's just really nice. Um, it just kind of feels like the section had their own display and that sort of thing. Go with that curtain, but I think I ended up changing the color of it. So it was just too stark of a contrast. I just wasn't very happy with it. Okay, yeah. Go with white. Okay. Um, and putting in some posters, um, be like, hey, we're wearing these clothes, you should wear these too, and some suits hung up, and I put, like, a men's, or a masculine cologne and that sort of thing, um, on the tables there. Yeah, that's what I do. And a plant. So why not? And more signage. I love how much signage is in this game. <laughs> yeah, it kind of feels at the same time like there's still not enough. Like there could never be enough. And it's kind of silly, but I just... When I like have something in my head, I'm like, Oh, that won't fit. You know, I'm sure you guys understand when you get into a creative frenzy, you're just like, oh, <laughs> it's going to go crazy. All right, and we're putting in some displays. I think I put more folded t-shirts in one, and um, I'm not sure what I put in the other. There we go. I put that, like, display thing, like the, um, oh gosh, what do you call it? Um. A balance thing where you weigh things. And here are the folded shirts. And a backpack. That's what I put in there. They're like, hey, buy this backpack because, you know, you need, you don't want a purse, but maybe you want to store your stuff. So put these really nice armchairs. And then I put some rugs in and a Nice plant, not that one, even though I really like that one, but uh, I, go, I go with a different plant. Yeah, that one from the Dine Out. And these rugs, these circular rugs, I really think they fit really nice in the um, retail space. Kind of like, it's you're able to kind of section things off really nicely, so it's really helpful. And then I'm changing the lighting because I wasn't a f fan of just those... Um, disc sconces <laughs> so I'd go with these again and I think that's all I use up here I'm not really sure I think I put some wall lighting on yeah here we go so you can see those posters better um, and then I was like oh the sides a little empty so we 
go with, um, what do we go with here? Ah, yes, we put some more clothes on the wall because you really can't have too many in a clothing store. Um, I kind of wish they had, like, um, clothes racks and stuff, you know, like, um, V-hooks and that sort of thing. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever worked retail, but if you, if you have, then you'll know what I mean, but maybe it would be too much. Um, I know when the Sims kind of come in here, it's a little over overwhelming, so kind of have to, you kind of have to spread things out, that way they can get around. And just decorating the outside, so they have advertisement for clothes and stuff. And I think I put a little plan out there. Alright. And yeah, that's what I put out there. And I put it, well, no, I'll have to go back and do that. Just like working on things on the food court, little things I wanted to get to last time that I had thought about last minute. Um, I think I enlarged the ice cream sign. Yes, there we go. Copying that and enlarging it. That way you can see it from the side of the store. And now we're putting in an arcade, which this is my favorite part of part two of the mall series. Um, <clears throat> I really enjoyed this part and it kind of matches the aesthetic that I want later when we deconstruct it. Um, very 1980s kind of retro gaming and um, neon lights uh, and there just aren't mall arcades anymore. They're kind of a thing of the past. It makes me really sad because um, I used to love going in mall arcades and you know, I don't know, it was just kind of rewarding, and it, it was kind of just a good break from shopping, and you would get, like, prizes and stuff, but that's just not a thing anymore, um, at least not in my area, maybe where you live, you have, um, a mall arcade, um, maybe it's not completely done, um, if that's the case, then tell me about it in the comments below, I'd love to hear hear about it, um, because I think it's so interesting, and putting the sign in, I was trying to put it on the outside, but it was too big, which is pretty funny, but I ended up putting it on the inside, just because it, you know, the arcade is a little bit open to the mall anyway, they don't have, like, physical doors, they have more, like, archways, and putting in pretty cool lighting. Um, I wanted to put those in, but I was like, no, they're, they don't really go with the aesthetic of what I'm going for. Um, so I ended up putting those in. I'm going to go back into live mode and um, change the colors to make them look like neon lights. Um, yeah, I'm really excited, you guys. <laughs> it's going to look awesome. Um, yeah, and there are not just video games in there, too. There's actually a foosball table. So, um, you know, people can go play foosball. Um, and then there are those, like, Blick Block machines, or at least, like, they always play Blick Block when I'm in there. Here we are, we're putting in those retro gaming machines, um, I'm sure we'll get more of those in the future, especially with this new game pack coming out, um, well, the stuff pack, the kids stuff pack, I'm sure there'll be, like, really cool things coming in that you all can add into your game, I can't buy it right away, I'm so sad, I have, I have a lot of bills to pay, guys, um, I don't want to get behind on those, but, I will get it eventually, and it's definitely on my to-do list. Um, it's top on the list. I want, I want that game. <laughs> oh, it looks so good. And putting these lights in, I thought they looked really nice, and they're kind of fun. <clears throat> so yeah, there's our arcade, and then I was like, well, what else am I gonna build? And I decided to go for an outdoorsy shop. So like, um. Uh, like, I don't know if you guys have a, 
a Bass Pro Shop or a Cabela's or a Dick's Sporting Goods. But this is kind of what I was going for, um, like camping supply store, um, kind of woodsy. I use a lot of the objects from the outdoor game pack, or not, yeah, game pack, the outdoor stuff. So we're just figuring that out and I actually am putting like the mall signs like where you like look at where you are in the mall um, and I put bench seating so your sims aren't like you know trying to figure out things like where am I? I'm lost. Like they're not lost. They are just looking at the map um, and I really like those plants with it. I think it really ties it in um, and it kind of bunch them all together it looks really neat and that's right I put these like flags on the walls and enlarge them um, they're very similar to the ones on the food court um, but I just put them there so yeah um, and I just remember I probably should put an exit door somewhere <laughs> Um, because, you know, if there's ever a fire, you're gonna, you're gonna want to know where to go. So, I should put more of those in. And we're working on the facade of the next store, which is the outdoor store. And, um, just putting in big windows, and, um, I'm really excited about this one because there's so much, like, wood, and, like, um, the paneling is actually that cabin side paneling like from outside <clears throat> it just looks really cool so um you'll see and working on the outside still um and for some reason i could not find signage to put on the outside i was just struggling um because i, I had a very specific idea in my head of what i wanted so um kind of look for a little while and I finally figure out something I just put like these panels on there and then I put the words um in Simlish <laughs> um and then I don't know it just gets really modern um so it looks really nice and let's see here yeah, I'm just trying to figure out what goes on the outside. I thought about putting that statue, that guy there, and I was like, nah, no, it doesn't look good. It's too big. Um, and I thought about making this a two-story store, too, and I still might, but we'll see. I'm going to think about it. I'm going to sleep on that. Um, <clears throat> so I'm just not really sure yet what I'm going to do with the others. I'm going to write down some ideas. Actually... If you guys have any ideas for stores, just let me know. I know I kind of want to put a kid's store in there, especially with a new stuff pack coming out, which, I mean, I won't have my hands on for a while, but I can put stuff in for placeholders. So, I don't know. Um, just let me know, know down in the comments below if you have any really cool ideas. Um, and I'll look at them and consider them. I thought about going for this green because I know a lot of the stores around here that are like outdoors shops, like they have that kind of siding and like coloring. It's usually white and green. And then I just go with this concrete, um, it's kind of like an olive green concrete. So I just kept it kind of simple and um, like made it very clear where the front of the store was. And then I just start putting objects around. I like those lamps for this kind of store because they look a little bit outdoorsy and rustic. Um, I don't know. I mean, I guess you could com compare this to like a Home Depot store, like a Sears or something. Um, it's really just up to you guys. And yeah, I think I put... I put grills, um, for sale, and then I thought about putting, like, those folk guitars, but then I was like, nah, 
Here we are, we're putting in the grills over there. <clears throat> Gosh, I really hope that they don't use this in the game. I should probably fence it off um, if I want them to not do that. <laughs> um, that would be really funny though, and I was like, whoa, that, that is the actual sculpture. I thought it was just a little guy. Um, no, it's actually a sculpture. And we put like outdoor seating, like, you know, those roll up kind of chairs. So I put all those, like the different varieties and um, this park bench seating and a little sign on top of that and some like seasonings and that sort of thing, like sauces for your barbecue pit. So, yeah. <clears throat> And let's see what else do I put? I put coolers and I put a tent and I can't remember, I think a fire pit, but I'm not for certain. I can't remember. Um But this isn't really a, that big of a store, so we'll see. Um Yeah, I put these coolers in. Just for like impulse shopping, they're like, oh, I need that, I forgot that, you know, <laughs> so, um, here we are putting in the tent, and I thought it was, like, oh, that's too big, I'm gonna put in the smaller one, but the small one was this, it was just too small, so, um, I kind of make up this little area, um, <clears throat> like, kind of, like, set up, like, it's like a set, or a display for camping, so I put, like, like, this plant down, and um, kind of make it look like you're already camping and so I put that there and that's right I put a game table into like one of those fold up ones um, there's pots and pans for display and yeah so we're almost done actually and um, this isn't done yet so I'm not gonna put any screenshot shots in but um, I hope you guys really enjoyed this build, and um, if you did, then like and subscribe if you haven't already, and um, comment down below your ideas and suggestions, and I'll take a look at those. Um, also, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and I'll have my origin ID and all that in the description below. And thank you guys so much. Stay inspired, and you will have a wonderful day. Thank you guys so much. Bye.